Hello friends, this is Ifa. Welcome back to the second last Plan With Me video of the year. This video is going to be a bit long because I am going to paint and make art heavy spreads here. So let's get started. For the November, I really wanted to go for an autumnal theme. This is the time of the year when I eagerly wait for the season and it's finally getting colder in Bangladesh so I'm very excited about the season and later for the winter. Bangladesh is basically a summer country so most of the time it's hot and neutral weather we get. It's not too cold in the winter and for the global warming winter or autumn is very weird and we don't get winter that we used to see in our childhood so I always feel sad about this whole situation. So for the cover page, I'm going to make a very large illustration. Normally, I don't use too much paint in my bullet journal and I use water-based markers to color out my illustration because it always been easy to color with markers. But this time, I really wanted to paint in this month. So let's talk about this cover page painting. I wanted to make an illustration where a girl is sitting in a cafe beside a window and it's raining outside. So I really wanted to try out something new painting so the references I wanted to use didn't turn out the way I wanted. So I was searching for lots of references because as a new painter with gouache I really need some photographs to draw but I couldn't find the pictures that I was visualizing but later I gathered some photographs to visualize the whole illustration that I wanted to go for and then I just sketched that out. For this illustration I started painting the background first I started to paint the rainy sky here and I made a little mistake to color it pretty much blue. Later I tried to add some grayish colors here but the gray was too dark so I just tapped the excess color with a tissue paper. This is a technique that I usually follow when I mess up anything. If I really don't like any paint here, I always try to use a damp tissue paper or use water to activate those ink and tap that out with a tissue paper so that the color doesn't seem too much when I apply more paint on the messed up area. So after coloring the whole sky, I started to paint trees. So basically I'm using a few colors such as this green, yellow and burnt amber and also the orc color. I'm using a light gray paint to color the trees which is far from the front trees. I really don't know how to paint a blurry window so I tried it as much as I could and also I didn't paint too much details for the trees. It might look very messy right now but after painting the whole thing and adding the raindrops it will look better. You'll see it later. So after putting all the three colors, I started to add some shadows underneath and for the shadows, I tried to add darker green and burnt amber for the inner parts of the trees. After that, I have shaded all the trees and I'm done with the background. I started a new art challenge which is Pitchtober in this year and I tried to continuously post every day on my Instagram. If you are interested, go check that out. But after 12 days, I wasn't in a very good mood because of my health issues. Yet I really didn't have time to paint every day so I stopped Pitchtober. I will try to catch up if possible but I don't think that it's going to be happen because I have so many things to do right now. The next step I am painting is the front table. 
then I painted the window here for the window I really didn't want black because it would get very messy if I used black so I just skipped that and I used a mixture of black so that it looked very much darker this video is going to be a little longer because I didn't want to cut too much from this whole video and go through every process of it I'm adding some shadows for the books and underneath of this table first. Then I used a very thin brush to give some texture for the wooden table. I used a darker brown color to do this wooden texture here and also I added a bit of white to make it look like an wood. I don't know if it looks like an wooden table but I am satisfied with it. This painting is very much slow and I think I've painted this whole illustration for two hours long I guess and with breaks actually but I really like the whole process and for this whole setup it took me two days to do because I always prefer sunlight if you follow me for a while you know that and i started it late in the noon so i really didn't want to make this whole setup in a day and if you see that i have already painted a little desert here which is the pumpkin pie but the color was very saturated and i really didn't want to go with it so i started painting it with a bit of muddy orange color When I started to paint the cup at first, I used a very light green here and later I wanted to build that up but when I started painting that, I felt that I really need to color it in black so that the cup popped up a little bit more. As the background is very colorful, the cup should be more darker and center of attraction for the whole illustration. I tried to paint the pattern for the sweater of those hands and also I painted the coffee cup with some coffee bubbles. <laughs> I don't know what to talk about this whole painting because it's not a tutorial and it's just a process that I've gone for. I hope you can see that what I'm doing here, I tried to give the hands some shadow so that it doesn't look like a plain thing and later i also blurred out the texture of here so that it doesn't look too much so for the book i really didn't want to make it a flat page so i tried to give it some shadow as i painted this book with a cream color i tried to add a bit of grayish cream color in the center of the book so that it looks like it's not a flat page here and the book is just open and for the binding it's kind of carved out after finishing this whole thing i wanted to add the raindrops here in this illustration i'm not a very good raindrop painter so it was very tough for me to paint this and i was really scared because i really didn't want to redo the whole illustration again and also i tried to focus on every single raindrop here so for the raindrop at first i used a white paint first to make some raindrop shape i tried to add some rains that are dropping from the window glass and i'm painting curvy lines here in the top of each drop and if you can see that I used darker colors to make those curves in the top and also I tried to balance the color schemes here like for the drops which are in the sky I tried to add grayish green color and in the bottom I tried to add darker brown color for the arch of these raindrops because if you look at any raindrop photographs you will see that the reflections of things from the background always have affected the colors of these raindrop curves if that makes sense 
Later I used my trusty Sakura Pigma Micron in size 005. It's a very thin nib so I tried to lightly draw the outlines of the raindrops and I tried to make the strokes very light. After drawing the raindrops, I wasn't satisfied with the painting so I started to outline the whole illustration a bit because it was looking very dull without the outlines. The most satisfying thing which is removing the washi tapes from the page and get the sharpest lines of the illustration. Even though I wasn't happy with the illustration because the shadows I made wasn't prominent so I've gone for another round and my illustration is finally done. As I'm using a notebook therapy notebook which has 160 JSON pages, it definitely didn't bleed any of the paints but as I've used pretty much water in this notebook it warped a little. So after making the illustration, I wanted to make a coat page beside my cover page. So for the coat page, I wanted to use some craft papers. The craft papers that I have in my home are a bit of reddish brown, so I really wanted to use handmade coffee stain papers here. So for the coffee stain paper, if you want to know about it, I would like to tell you that I made two type of coffee stain papers one is the baked papers and another one is your dried for the baked paper it turned out a little burned and i really didn't like the ages of it even though it turned out the best it took me less than a day to dry out the pages so i was very happy about the whole thing but for the coat page i used the air dried paper as i made a bunch of coffee stain papers these shades were slightly different from each other so i used this air dried but it was directly on the sun and the whole coffee was on this paper so it turned out pretty darker and i really like how this whole thing turned out so with this paper i tried to cover the whole page for the coat i wanted to use my stamps and i stamped coffee with these large letters and also I used the smallest alphabet stamps which I got a few years back. I found this quote on Pinterest so there was no one whom I can give the credit for. So it says liquid that smells like fresh ground heaven is a coffee. So I really really like this coat and as this coat page was looking a bit dull I tried to add a few decorations here I'm using my own stickers from my shop and then I used a gold watercolor paint to add some sparkles here I think you can see it for now but after drying out the whole thing was looking very good under the light so for the title, I used my Sakura Pigma Micron in size 08 and I used this cursive font which I really like. So that's it for the cover page. I really hope you like this whole painting because it's my favorite from the whole setup. And also my favorite from the whole year's illustrations and bullet journal setups. So for the next spread, I'm going to make two page spread, which is not obviously my calendar page. Here I wanted to add some spaces where I can write down my thoughts, the reflections of my month and also master to-do list and a space for meal plan. So at first I used this coffee stain paper to cover the whole page even though I struggled a lot because the notebook wasn't properly closed so I had to cut in between these two pages and for the spaces where I want to write them I have to cut out in the middle of this coffee stain paper because I really didn't want to add this much large paper from my notebook and for the reflection to do and meal plan I used a few cutouts which are from this notebook and as I'm using Dutch doors in my bullet journals, I have so many leftover pages, so I use this. 
I really don't want to use these papers because these papers are lifesavers when I do any mistakes so I always have them in the back pocket. After that, I used a very few stickers from my shop and I've used a black brush pen to make a chalkboard which coffee shops usually have. This header inspiration came from Cherries, from Cherries Treats and I really like her ideas. After that I used a black fine liner to draw the outlines and I think the outlines make the whole faces popped out. For the next spread I'm making my monthly calendar page. So the monthly calendar page is basically have to be in the last page but I did a few mistakes here while sketching out. I really didn't want to redo the sketch and, and make the calendar page after the reflection and thoughts page. I always prefer my calendar spreads in the beginning anyways. So for this illustration I am drawing a book and a cup of coffee on table so at first i drew the table and then i painted the book then i started coloring the coffee i wanted to add a coffee illustration in this coffee that was very tough actually but i tried to make the coffee color as i prefer I always like to drink different flavored coffees when I go to a cafe and my most favorite is raspberry mocha. I tried to make this latte art with a very few bubbles here and also I tried to add a spoon. I want to ask you if you use any added sugar in your coffee or not. Generally, I don't like to add extra sugar in my coffee because I think they put too much sugar in it already. Sometimes it's necessary to add sugar when the coffee is much bitter, but if I drink mocha or latte, it's not needed. No, it's not needed. Anyways, after finishing the whole illustration, I started making the calendar page. And for the calendar page, it's pretty small than the usual. I'll tell you why it is like this. For the boxes of each day, I am going for four and a half by four and a half grids here. So while making this whole spread, I would like to talk about my patrons. I am very grateful to my patrons. So many of you are interested in my patron printables and the happy mail I am making for so thank you very much to all of you and also i'd like to tell you that for this month as the cover page you are going to get the exact same cover page and the code page for the printables also i'm adding two calendar spreads one is going to be like this horizontal calendar spread which is going to be two spread long and another one which I'm going to make digitally is going to be vertical which I always provide to my patrons. For the Happy Mail tire, you're going to get these two stickers if you join in October and if you're pledged in November, you're going to get a butterfly sticker and also some backdrop stickers and 
also I'm going to give away some ephemeras with the happy mail so I hope you like that as well and I would like to say that the ephemeras is going to be printed backdrops with my handmade coffee stain papers so this is not going to be available in my shop so if you're interested you have to be a happy mail tire patron I'm very excited for the upcoming shop launch and also these two stickers which you are getting for the November Happy Mail they're going to be released in the first week of November as well so I am very excited for the whole collection and as a sneak peek you can get that the whole shop update is going to be vintage themed so I hope you like that too so after making and coloring out the whole page, I am making the Dutch door here. Here is going to be a two spread Dutch doors here, which is this calendar and the shop update page and also the content planner. And in this side, I am adding my three habits and two focus trackers. So there is a bit difference in habits and focus trackers. Basically the habits are going to be the habits that I always track like my vitamin and then my workout, some kind of things and for the focus I'm going to use these two trackers to track the workload I'm going through for the shop and my contents adding these trackers I'm making a chalkboard here to write any kind of notes and I have painted a separate page with the black gouache I really like the chalky effect of gouache paint so I made this here so I painted it in black but for the header I used my Tombow dual brush pen in shade lamp black I was a bit tired of using white gel pen in the stands. I was inspired from Cherry Streets and Tina's Diary. But later I stopped doing that and wrote the header by my own. And I think it turned out good. Not bad at all. I'll be adding the headers for the habit and focus later when I use my bullet journal so yeah that's it for this spread as well so in the next spread is my shop work and content planner for the shop work i am making two boxes to write down the task which i'm going to do for my shop and before the shop update and for the content planner i have spaced out four weeks here to write down all the tasks that I'm going to do for every week and in the side I use the stickers which is covered by the other illustration from the Dutch door and I use white gel pen to add some more sparkles The next spread is the last spread which is my weekly spreads and for the weekly spreads I am making a Dutch door again. I found this Dutch door is very much easier for me to be productive because if I don't make my weekly spreads in the beginning of the month or spaced out some spaces for the weeklies I am very lazy to get up and make a weekly spread so for the every weeklies I added three tabs here basically we're going to use pages for four weeks of the month I used some craft papers here to decorate the sides of the Dutch doors along with the coffee stains papers 
also i'm using some stickers from my shop and another shop's blossom bujo store and ikigai papir i really love their collections so i really wanted to also use them I've used a sticky note stickers from some kind words as well. I'm using a leftover page from the Dutch door for a new tracker which is the water tracker and i am going to make this whole tracker when i started to use this weekly spread so if you want to see how i'm using it you can follow me on instagram because i'm going to post a few pictures of this water tracker as well For the weekly spreads, I'm using circle and eyelets and square deco sheets because it's what I'm doing every month from this September. And it's very pretty when I use all of these stickers from my shop and also the days of week stickers that has all the days in cursive font. And I think it saves a lot of time for me to make this whole setup. So that's it for the weekly spread as well. So let's flip through my whole setup here. I hope you like this setup. It took me about 5 hours to make the whole setup complete. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel and also turn on the notification bell so that you can get some notification whenever I post a video here. I hope I will see you in my next video. If you're still there, please comment down with a coffee emoji so that I can get that you're here till the end. I hope you're having a great day and stay safe. Bye bye.